Hey folks, it's Ben. Spring has sprung, so it is time to start digging out power equipment, which everyone likes to see. I walk back here and forget sometimes all the cool stuff I have, and of course <laughs> I parked on one more I want way out in the front there. But anyway, we're going to be starting off today with the tiller. Uh, we've got some gardening to do. The weather is awesome today. This thing's been parked all winter, of course, uh, in nice dry storage here. So I'm going to lug this thing back to the Quonset and we're going to go ahead and see if we can get it fired up and then we'll drive it over to the garden. So the tiller's out. Uh, I stored most of these vehicles with uh, fuel in them. So if I check the gas here uh, in the tank, it has got about a half a tank. So I'm going to add some gas to it because it's only got half a tank and I'm going to link over to a card that shows you I make one liter bottles. This is gasoline plus 2x the recommended dose of seafoam for running it in engines. Uh, which is a good springtime mixture. After this, we'll either run straight gas or 1x sea foam to keep things nice and clean. Uh, so we'll top it off with gas here. And once again, like in the video, one liter containers uh, typically are just easy to know how much you put in. And this one takes it all. <laughs> so there's a liter of gas in that. We're doing a lot of tilling today, so that's good news. Did run when we put it away. The other thing I'm gonna check for, and it's confusing on this motor because the tiller doesn't actually sit upright but it operates technically uh, in a level plane. So when you check the oil, you kind of have to lift up the butt a little bit. So because that's the normal orientation of the machine when it's operating, that's where we want to check the oil level with. And it is down a little bit. Years of operational practice have told me that I suck at pouring oil into engines. I always make myself a little funnel to make sure I get it in there. <laughs> Just make sure your cardboard's kind of clean. I'm fairly sure I've done a starting video on this before, but we'll make sure the machine's in neutral. The throttle is backwards, so pull it back for full throttle. It's got the old style pull on the carb choke. Cold start's been stalled all year, so let's see how we go. Oh yeah, this one has an issue with the ratchet too. Crap, forgot I was going to fix that. So that's that for the garden. <clears throat> you can see the first part was really easy and that's our primary garden spot. And in the back we had banked some of that from last year so uh, it was a little bit harder to go plus where the sunflowers had been. Uh, and the tiller will give it a nice cleaning and then we'll park it for a little bit but we'll get some more uh, stuff planted in the ground here and we might till up the garden one more time before we call it season. And for those wondering over here in the hole, um, that's where the kids play. So it's really clay soil, and it's this grass patch here, which is why we don't typically garden there. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Please feel free to subscribe to whatever channel I stick this thing on. And uh, be sure to like our video if you do like it.